Hi, my name is Bill Parker, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the spring on your pull cord assembly. We've got two different styles here. This style has got pawls that come out and engage. This style uses a clutch style that sits inside. So the first one with the pawl style is we're just going to re remove the tension on the spring by just letting it wind itself back in. Then we will remove the cap. Once that's done and out of the way, we can release the pulley. Now this one has a pre-wound spring in it. You can't replace this spring without replacing this pulley. So it comes as a complete assembly. You can get it at your lawn and garden dealer. When you get it, you'll put it back on. And when you do, you're going to spin it backwards until you feel it catch. Now it catches right there. We'll put our poles back on. in our retainer. Feed the rope through the hole. and then we put our handle back on. This style, we see in most small lawnmower engines. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna release the tension on it. But this spring is replaceable. We just let the rope go in and let it release the tension. Now on the side here is where the spring is located. Just using a pair of needle nose, we're gonna grab the end of that spring and move it to the large part of the opening. And just pull it out. As you can see, it's a very large spring. When you get to the end, all you do is give it a turn and pull it out. Okay, so we got the spring out. What we're going to do is just kind of turn it backwards and just pull it through our fingers. Put a little tension back into it so when it coils up, it's got the proper tension. So we've got the spring as straightened out as we're going to get it. It doesn't have to be flat straight. Set that aside. We put our pulley back in. Bend our tab down. Before we go further, make sure that the pulley turns, because if it's bound up now, it's still going to be bound up later. So now we're going to put the spring back in. Remember what I said about that little hole, that, that hole plays a big part. So we're going to put our spring back into this hole, it's going to go into the pulley and lock into the small hole, and then we'll, we'll wrap it in. So we put, the, put it in sideways. Remember, we're going in sideways, and then we're going to turn it. So we're going to go in. We're going to turn it and lock it. And then we're going to turn it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is going to, is going to wind it back in. And all we're going to do is just keep winding it back in with our hands. keeping a little bit of tension on there. So it doesn't ride above the pulley. Okay. 
Then as you get near the end, what you want to do is take your needle nose pliers and grip it on the end. And just kind of feed it in and lock it into, into place. Once it's locked in, then we can continue winding it counterclockwise until it gets completely tight. Once it's completely tight, we'll back it off until the hole for the rope lines up with the hole on the housing. There. So now we just back it off a little bit. Now we've got the hole on the, for the rope lined up with the hole on the housing. We can put our rope back through. and feed it through the housing. Okay, so you continue to push the rope through the hole, pull it through. Now you can relieve the tension back in there. Tie a small knot to hold it so it doesn't go in on you. This is the important part. Many times people let it just go in and they have to start all over again. Now you've got the tension off, you can go ahead and put your pulley, your handle back on. And tie your knot and you'll be good to go. Okay, so that's all there is to it. That's how you replace the spring on a recoil assembly.